automaton, a mechanism that is relatively self-operating, especially robot. Humanity has been fascinated with the mimicry of life through mechanical means for millennia. From the Greek philosopher Archytas and his steam rocket pigeon from around 400 BC, to the mechanical knight and the lion by the famous Italian inventor Leonardo da Vinci, to the clockwork dolls that played music and wrote poetry by the French clockmaker Pierre Jacques Droz in the 1770s, to more modern creations found in movies such as Star Wars, Jaws, and Jurassic Park. It is in this search to reproduce life through machine that we come to a concept defined by emotional reaction where we consider the machine not by functionality, but rather by friendliness. Welcome to the Uncanny Valley, where the unappealing and downright creepy reside. Coined in 1970, robotics professor Masahiro Mori hypothesized that when an object appears close, but not close enough, to a natural being, a feeling of revulsion is felt. We expect natural creatures and people to move and look a certain way, and when something doesn't look right, when our expectations are not met, our brains reject this new thing. His description of this, Bukimi no Tano Gensho, translated Uncanny Valley, can be demonstrated through comparison of human-like robots. Of course, this applies to other media as well. Theories for this emotional response are varied and contested, but the overall consensus is that when we see something that looks like a human, but something is maladjusted just enough to indicate something is very wrong, people tend to reject that object as unnatural or evil. So. Why does this matter to us? Well, we need to address usability when designing robots. If we want people to like a robot, we need to worry where it might fall on this scale. However, we can use this to our advantage. If we want the robot to scare, to make people uncomfortable, we know just how to do it. <laughs>